but overall um, I wish you have a great solar return and that you know you can move past some things that have happened in the past three years a lot of you have survived the um, Saturn return as well or the, the Saturn transit so things are looking up for this year okay and uh, especially starting with this month I do see new burst of energy coming through and uh, let's just go into your reading so I'm using the same spread I just laid out all the cards ahead of time just to save me time with the shuffling and all of that uh, these cards are a little bit smaller so they all fit on screen and this is how I'm going to uh, do the reading from now on if I use this deck so same format clusters and I just laid out the cards okay but before we go into this spread I'm going to relay information messages that came through for you in the initial shuffle uh, what I do see is a lot of outdoor events for, for you guys. So um, I do see trees, mountains, uh, rivers. So all of these things are like, um, I do see a lot of, you know, scenic scenery, a lot of just things passing you by, um, a lot of like time spent outdoor communicating. Uh, and they're saying, which is really strange, communicating with nature. And I feel like you're you're taking trips, some of you. You are by water, by mountains, by trees, okay? So I, I feel like all of these beautiful imagery came, coming through. And I feel like a lot of you are taking time off sometime this month either to um, celebrate. But I feel like you're not doing it with a bunch of other people getting together to, you know, go to like a club, a bar. I don't feel it's like a, a, a metropole, like a metropolitan city type of landscape I feel like it's a little bit more rural a little bit more sparsely populated and a little bit more uh, natural like a natural environment um, I feel that if you have been you know kind of like busy with the daily grind of you know trying to maintain your um, just if you're working in the city and you feel like a little bit inundated I feel like getting out back in nature would be beneficial for you as well and it's going to help you replenish yourself and especially going to a place with water you are a water sign sometimes you need to be you know connected in order to feel grounded connected to the source in order to feel grounded uh, what I'm seeing is they're, they're saying there is a trip here either somebody coming to see you or you taking a trip to see somebody else and I do feel a sense of um, geographical distance between you and a, uh, a person that is quite significant that you you're communicating with heavily um, I do feel like soulful discussions is what they're saying um, discussions with one other person in a very soulful in a very deep rooted in a very profound manner so I see you talking to somebody um, you know about your feelings about your deepest darkest fears about your secrets and I not that you have secrets but you know things that you normally wouldn't tell another person until you know them really well until you're on like the first name basis I feel like you're revealing a lot of yourself um, I feel some of you might be doing this with a therapist and others might be doing this with somebody significant you know like somebody that you're trying to get to know so I feel these walls coming down when it comes to your emotional expressions which is really good um, I feel that they're gonna give you some insight into some you know wisdoms they're gonna provide some profound insights into your motives so, you know, in the past you might have been like, I don't know why I keep doing this or I keep dating these types of people or I keep finding myself in these patterns or I can't really break out of my rut or I feel these blockages. And then the other person is just like, well, here's what, uh, here's what my assessment is based on everything that you told me. And they're going to give you some really deep insights and I feel it's going to be really beneficial for you moving forward. So... You know, it is your birthday time, and I know that, you know, the last few months have been kind of challenging. I feel September and October might have been challenging for a few of you. So, one of the things that you want, I feel like might be beneficial for you to do, is, you know, for this month, um, whatever, if you do believe in, you know, birthday wishes, try to wish for spiritual insights for spiritual guidance I feel like you're gonna be flooded with it and it's gonna really help you decide on the next phase or if you're you, if you're feeling a little bit stuck just you know when you blow out that candle just wish for some profound um, you know beneficial helpful insightful spiritual advice 
I, I do feel that it's going to come through for you if you need it, okay? Um, what I'm also feeling is I see you and another person in a house. And I, I don't know if this is like you're a vacation home or like a permanent home. But I see you and another person discussing something about a house, visiting a house, or being in a, in a house. And it seems like it's out in nature. That's what I feel. It's isolated. It seems like it's isolated from, you know, the the nearest city. Um, I feel some of you are kind of like um, in the past. It, it feels almost as if they are saying you came from a broken home. Okay, like like there, I, I see smoke and I see walls crumbling down. And it feels like that situation left a, a really deep scar within some of you. So this could be like a childhood home. This can be like a recent marriage, a home, or this can be like a very recent place of living where you have uh, escaped from. So I feel like, you know, there, there was something in your past, or a lot of you might still be dealing with it. It says a broken home, and you're trying to mend the pieces. And I feel like this is the month in which you are going to be guided as to how to do it. So I feel a lot of deep-rooted, you know, feelings coming back up to the surface. And you can either choose to suppress it or, you know, let it wash over you and process it and move forward. So you, you have some, you know, choices that you need to make here. And I do sense that a lot of you are, you're, you're a pretty courageous sign. But I feel like on the emotional realm, a lot of things that uh, from your past might be a little bit uncomfortable. And if they're coming back up, you might not be prepared to deal with it. But I do sense as well that one of the main things, um, let me see if I can clear clarify this message here. I feel like, so going back to that home situation, okay? You know, it, it some so a lot of the times um, breakups happen, right? And if if we have like abandonment issues, if someone left us, or we feel like we had to leave somebody, and we were very very emotionally invested in the outcome of that situation, and then we feel like you know we we knew how things were going to turn out, but then you know it took a one eighty, and then something else happened instead. And you, when something like that happens, um, it's hard to get over it because we we feel like we already, you know, like like the outcome was supposed to be like this. Like it's all about control, like controlling for a specific outcome. And I feel a lot of you might have been in that situation where you 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 were so sure that this is how it's going to pan out, and be, when things didn't go that way. It really made you doubt yourself. It really made you doubt your capabilities, your ability. It really made you doubt, you know, your your sense of like, how much do I know if this one thing that I thought was true didn't turn out to be that way? Then how, what, what do I have left to believe in? So there is a, almost like a spiritual crisis. And I feel that, you know, if you're, you have been dealing with that for the past five months, if you have been dealing with that even for the past five years, um, you're going to get some type of uh, awakening, like, you know, the jolt to the system where it's kind of like, no, enough's enough. I'm not going to let this one setback, you know, interfere with my um, forward movement. So I feel confidence returning for a lot of you, which is great. I see passion, vitality, and overall your, um, I'm, I'm sensing like metabolism as well going uh, getting restored so that could just be you know you're doing a lot of outdoor activities you're getting more physically active you're feeling inspired and happy so overall I do feel that you know all of these things it's not just a mask that you're putting on I feel that you're gradually restoring your self-confidence okay so those are all the messages let's go into this reading here um, one of the first things that I have out here, and um, there's another sign that got the same combination in the same order. So we have the devil as well as the fool. And the devil, let's talk about this first because this is the card that came out first. The devil indicates a situation like an addiction, a situation that kept you down, that kept you hostage, okay? Um, in terms of like on the mundane front, it can indicate, you know, physical addiction to, to things, to substances, to people. 
It could also indicate a situation where you might be in a relationship with somebody who had control issues or who had substance abuse issues or who had like some type of emotional manipulation and they might have you wrapped around their fingers and it, it would have been really difficult for you to extract yourself. So I feel like you are in a situation, uh, a lot, some of you might have gotten out of it and a lot of you are still, you know, on the tail end of this, trying to extract yourself and trying to move on. So this devil energy in this uh, particular deck indicates to me entrapment. It's a situation where you are, you know, um, stuck or bound to somebody in a material way. And they have a way to lure you back in, like to, to reel you back in. This can be a boss. This can be a uh, partner. This can be somebody that you're, you know, still, uh, you're separated from but still married to. Or it can be anybody that you are materially somehow um, linked up to. So I do feel for a lot of you, this is the month in which you are going to have to confront some types of addiction, uh, addictive personality traits, or even some unhealthy obsessions with certain things. Or if you're dabbling in, you know, like if you're addicted to substances such as, you know, prescription medication, or even, you know, uh, ways of thinking, outdated ways of thinking can also be uh, a restriction too with the devil. So all of these things are coming up for re-examination. And I do see this um, overwhelming sense of like a lot of you might be seeing a therapist. And uh, all of these things are coming up for review. And you're going to um, be able to shine some light on it. And you're going to realize that, you know, it, it's not just because it's an I'm, I'm physically addicted to it. I feel like for a lot of you, it was like an emotional coping mechanism. You know, let's just say you were in a really bad relationship, right? And you stay together for the kids. And then one partner or the other starts drinking as a way to escape the mundane. And I feel like a lot of you might have resorted to this because you, once you commit yourself to something, you, you give it your all and, you know, you... You try your best to stay in it and you, you might have adopted quite a few unhealthy habits as a result of wanting to cope in that situation to make that situation bearable. And if this is not something that you're dealing with, it, it's somebody in your midst that is dealing with this as well. For others of you, I feel like there might have been some tension or stress coming through and it's, it's making you crave whatever it is that you might be addicted to. So it could be a person, it could be, you know, like relationship partners that were very, very, relationships overall patterns that were very, very tumultuous, but, you know, through that, um, through that emotional roller coaster, it can become an addiction. So I feel like, you know, all of these things are coming up for uh, examination, and I feel that you're finding ways to find balance within yourself and to at least overcome it and not let it overcome you. So it's great energy. Um... Some of you might be going back to a previous bad habit. So be very careful about, you know, the tendency to, uh, you know, sometimes it's our birthday time. We want to go out and have a good time. And um, we might think about like, oh, it's only one day of the year. So it's okay if, if I do this on my birthday. So that I see that coming through. And I feel like Scorpios have really good self-control in general. But I, I feel here with the full card. And the devil is kind of like knowing, knowingly rushing into something that you know is not good for you. So be careful about that. I feel like a, a, a few, few of you might be tempted by this. And I do feel it might be on the relationship front, okay? So what I feel coming through as well is um, if this is a, a, a person that you're going back to, there's going to be contact or, you know, they're the first one to solicit um something from you like they're 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 the first one to reach out and i feel like you know if you would re-engage you're going to end up with disappointment like just a few days later so i feel like things are not what it seems you're hoping for the best but you're going to end up disappointed so if it's a re previous relationship partner be very careful there is a sense here of entrapment and i feel like you're walking right into it and you know you you want to be a few steps ahead of your opponent and so I feel like this is not, uh, this situation is not going to pan out in your favor. And then others of you are walking away from purely addictive, you know, traits or just bad habits overall. So I feel like overall, you know, things are being balanced out for majority of you, whereas a few of you are still succumbing to this energy and letting it overtake you. So 
the second cluster here is the Justice card with the Five of Cups. The Five of Cups is a situation where it deals with a lot of regrets. It deals with a lot of like, you know, uh, contemplation, wondering what ifs, and thinking about, you know, if we had done something differently, how would, would the outcome have been different? So it's sort of like that, that whole uh, period of like uncertainty. If you knew for sure, and you knew it wasn't going to work no matter what you did, then you can move on. But the fact is like sometimes we're not supposed to know, and sometimes we don't know. We just have to at least understand that this is not healthy. I need to move on to something that is healthier for me. So I feel like a lot of you are letting go of bad relationships that were very codependent and very toxic. Uh, it could also be friends as well. I'm seeing a lot of people getting rid of old friends and, you know, isolating yourself or at least um, whittling down your social networks and your social circle. So something didn't pan out. You are, I feel like this month you might be tempted to go back to it, give it one last try. And then a few days later, a few weeks later, you're going to realize it's not working out. I feel everything is happening within the same month. So you need that last if you need that last bit of confirmation, by all means do it. But I feel like it's just, you know, there. this is pretty much like, you know, that last nail on the coffin. And you're going to be able to uh, sail past it, okay? Um, what's linked up here is the Justice card. And the Justice card usually uh, indicates to me when it comes out, uh, depending on what it's with and what's uh, close to it, it basically indicates to me like, you know, some type of like... Uh, clearing up of karma where you can free yourself clearing up of, of karma so that you can no long so that you no longer need to like you know deal with this uh, regrets from the past and you can finally get the closure you need in order to move forward okay and i definitely feel for a lot of you you are hitting a point where you are uh, in you are dealing with people who are very righteous who are very balanced and you're not going to you're not going to have to worry where you stand with them anymore. In the past, you might have been in this, you know, codependent, toxic type of situation. It's clearing itself up, and as a result, you're able to move forward. The other thing that I'm feeling here is, you know, the Five of Cups deals with, like, um, with the devil. These things deals with severe alcohol, overconsumption of alcohol, drinking, and things like that. The Justice card deals with the legal system. You want to be a little bit careful of your driving this month. You know, try to take a cab, do take an Uber car, um, do something to minimize the risk associated with that as well. So, you know, keep that in mind, okay? So what I'm feeling as well is we do have um, a lot of communication with the third cluster here. It deals with a lot of communication coming between, um, coming from you to another person. And we do have here the Hermit, which is uh, all about, you know, re-examining, um, re-examining, excuse me, re-examining our motives, our intentions, um, looking at a past, the past situation through the lens of wisdom, insight, and objectivity so that we can, you know, once and for all, scrap it and then move forward, okay? So... I feel like there's a lot of communication. Um, somebody is like asking you a lot about the past. Like, hey, when you were a kid, what did you do when you were 15, when you were 30, so uh, so on. So I feel like somebody is, um, is, is kind of like bringing up these things from the past to ask you questions. And um, I don't feel that they're being nosy, but there's a lot of communication like nostalgia for the past and people coming through reminiscing about the past. And I feel like at this point, a lot of you might tend to clam up because you want to move on. You, you, you're looking back at the past and you, you're just like, yes, it was fun, but it seemed to me like it was a little bit empty and it was a little bit problematic. So all of these things, all of these, you know, um, uh, people coming through, reminiscing about the past, reminding you of the past. I feel like it's a good trip down memory lane for you to realize, you know, how far you've come where you were, you know, when you were younger and where you are now and to realize that you have survived a lot of or ordeals. You have survived a lot of difficulties and that you, you know, all of these things, yes, they suck when they happen, but as a result of it, you, um, you are able to grow from it and you have a lot of good insights and wisdom right now. So 
there's a lot of things here that indicates to me looking back at the past and you know not playing victim but thinking about like what lessons did I extract from that and how is that going to help me succeed in the future okay so the last cluster here deals with the Queen of Swords and this might be somebody that you are communicating with very very heavily so the Queen of Swords can be a male or a female an Aquarius a Gemini or a lead to do is um, pass through it one more time sorry for the delay but um, I feel like sometimes it helps because there's a lot of information here, like different information. Okay. <clears throat> so let's talk about the past. And the past will let you know whether or not, you know, the rest of the reading will even be applicable, okay? Uh, in the past position, we have here the page of coins, and the page of coins is basically new jobs, new assignments that is able to help you overcome financial difficulties, and it's going to, um, I feel like in, in that line, if you were financially like uh, in a situation where you, you were uh, worried about how you're going to make ends meet, and how you're going to be able to take care of yourself, let alone, you know, branch out and date other people and incorporate other people into your life. I do feel that for a lot of you, the financial situation um, for this year is looking a lot better. And as a result of it, you are sailing over financial difficulties. You're no longer um, operating from that base survival chakra. And you're no longer putting your life on hold, like your love life on hold, mainly because you have the financial resources in order to be like a, you know, invite other people into your life in order to take care of your partner and in order to like uh, overcome a lot of these difficulties that have been plaguing you in the past in not being able to attract uh, good relationship partners because of self-esteem issues or because of financial entanglements between you and exes and, you know, ex-spouses or ex-boyfriends, girlfriend, whatever that situation is so I feel like financial independence is finally allowing you opportunities to attract more like-minded people that can be more stable relationships um, partners for you what I'm sensing as well is um, a lot of you might have been separated but I feel like you might have lived together in the same house and you know that's uh, I feel like that really interfered with your dating life and I feel like of course it would you know like a uh, weird um, living arrangement with exes is not good for your dating prospects okay so I feel like a lot of you might have been going through that you're trying to get your life in order you're trying to get your own space and you're trying to accumulate a lot of money um, you might have put your love life on hold in order to you know have the time to devote to career and to you know work a lot of hours in order to create this abundance okay um, for others of you, you might have been dealing with an earth sign, a Taurus, a Virgo, or a Capricorn. And I feel like in this situation, a lot of you might have um, sailed away from it, okay? I feel for some of you, you realize they were, that they were taking their sweet time and they were trying to, you know, look at other options. So I feel like, yes, they want to build a future, but I feel like, you know, they're trying to decide between multiple options. This is somebody who I feel classically, they like to work with their hands and they're very, very good, like very, um, very playful, great sense of humor like to play like games um, not in a bad way but I feel like they like to play games and I feel like their uh, their eyes dart back and forth and that led uh, it leads me to believe like they might have the wandering eyes okay so you were dealing with a Capricorn or a Taurus or a Virgo in your past a lot of you have sailed away from it and a lot of you are moving on to new people so uh, a few of you might be newly single a few of you might be, you know, like um, still having this, um, a few of you might have have like cord of attachment still lingering with this earth sign. Which brings us to the present moment. We have the four of coins, the strength card, and the seven of wands. So, the four of coins. Give me one second. So, sorry about that. So we have the Four of Coins, the Strength card, and the Seven of Wands. And um, one of the things I'm feeling here is the Four of Coins indicates a situation where somebody is holding on very, very protectively to their feelings. They're guarding their heart. They're guarding their values. And they're really refusing to budge, okay? 
um, it can be positive or negative. Like standing up for the things that you believe in is always a good thing. However, if you are like so fixed that you're not able to change yourself accordingly to adapt to your environment or to adapt to new people or to allow, you know, an alternative uh, way of doing to come through that might even be better from what you're used to. This is a card about resisting change. It's linked up here with the strength card. And I feel like for a lot of you, you're dealing with um, an energy of somebody, great choices that are coming through. And I do feel like you're dealing with somebody where there's a lot of opposition. You're a water sign and I see like, you know, fire signs coming out very strongly. So you're dealing with somebody who's going to question, you know, your, your values, which is fine. I feel like, you know, a little bit of conflict every now and then for, and, and then like, you know, having to defend yourself. That's always good for a robust relationship anyways so i do wish you all a very happy birthday um enjoy your thanksgiving for those of you who are celebrating